Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to Ham Cured Smoke and the 12th installment in our IC7300 from A to Z series. Today we're going to take a look at the Vox function. We're a little bit out of order, but we're still chugging through section 4 of the manual on receiving and transmitting. The Vox function in the 7300 is pretty standard in its implementation, but it does offer one nice new feature that I think you're going to enjoy. Let's take a look. The Vox function is activated by the Vox slash break-in button here. Break-in is for CW. We'll talk about that in a separate episode. You press the Vox function, excuse me, you press the Vox button, turns the Vox on in the display, and then you press it again to turn it off. Vox is voice operated transmit. And then there are some settings for it, like most 7300 settings. If you press and hold the button, you get the settings menu. So first we're going to turn Vox on. And then I'm going to be doing this on 15 meters. And then just to show you here, I've got my RF power set to zero. So we're not actually going to be transmitting, but you'll get uh, all of the same effects and the rig will go into transmit mode. I've also got the monitor set up to 50%, which will allow you to hear my voice through the rig audio. So I can show you some of the features that uh, the Vox on this radio has. So let's open up the menu. And I've already got the gain set to 60%. So that's how sensitive it is to audio coming through the microphone, whether you're using the mic that came with it or a high mic or some other external mic for the radio. So if I just take the mic and speak into it, testing, one, two, three, you see the rig keying. Now, with the delay set to zero, You'll notice that as I pause in my voice, testing, one, two, three, four, the radio kind of stutters in and out of transmit. So the delay function allows you to set a delay before the rig will drop out of transmit. I'm going to just set it to one second. It'll go all the way up to two seconds. And again, this is pretty similar to the Vox settings on most HF radios. Hello, testing, one, hello, testing, one, two, three, four, five. So now, as I uh, put pauses in my speech, the radio doesn't drop out of transmit. So that's pretty straightforward. The anti-vox function, again, this is similar to most HF radios, but if you're not familiar with that, the anti-vox function is primarily useful if you're listening to the radio through the built-in speaker. If you're using headphones, you really won't need to play with this much. What anti-vox does is it prevents the radio from being keyed by the noise being, or the sounds that are coming out of its own speaker. So I'm going to turn up the rig speaker here for this and I'll demonstrate, and as I turn it up, if I hold the microphone up where it can hear the speaker, it will key its own Vox transmit mode. There we go. So if you turn the anti-Vox up high enough, that was my voice, it won't key the rig from its own internal speaker. And again, if you're using a set of headphones, you really don't need to worry about that. And actually, if you're using the Vox function on the radio, a set of headphones is a good idea. The final setting that's available on the 7300 is the voice delay. And there's no knob settings for this. You just press it. You have short, mid, and long. This is a very nice feature that the 7300 offers because it is a fully digital radio that uh, helps prevent one annoying feature of Vox on radios. And that feature is the fact that when you're using your voice to key the radio, 
usually the first syllable or so of your voice is cut off for people listening to you because it takes the transmitter, you know, a few milliseconds or a few tens of milliseconds to actually switch to transmit road and come up and transmitting. And of course, since your voice keyed it, you've already spoken that part. So let me demonstrate this and I'll let you hear what would be coming out of the rig uh, transmitter through the monitor when I do this. So we'll put it into Vox. Testing. 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 One, two, three. Let me set the delay up just a little bit for that. And I'm going to turn my gain up a little bit more again. Testing. O, test, one, two, three. So you should have heard there that the beginning of my voice was cut off. Now, let's set the delay up to long. And I'm setting it to long so you can really see how this is. First, I'll let you hear it with both the both microphones so you can hear the delay. Hello? Hello? Testing. testing. One, one, two. two. Testing. testing. One, one, two. two. Now, let's listen to it just through the radio audio, and you'll see how that eliminates the cutoff in my voice. Hello? Testing. One, two. Testing. One, two. Testing. One, two. So what this does with the delay set to long, it actually delays the audio digitally in the radio so that the audio that I'm speaking into the microphone gets delayed before it's fed to the transmitter until the transmitter is alive. The net effect of this for people at the other end is they're hearing my transmission a few milliseconds delayed or you know maybe a half a second delayed but they're never going to know that and it prevents the beginning of my transmission from being cut off so this is a really nice feature the 7300 has I've not seen this on any other radio the different lengths um, which you might use those for is probably the short is long enough just for the 7300 but if you were using an external you know, kilowatt amp or high power linear amp, you might want to set the delay a little bit longer because it's going to take a little more time to get the radio keyed up and the amplifier keyed up so you can increase the delay to make sure you don't get cut off even if you're using an amp. So that's really it for all the Vox functions. Um, that last one is a unique feature to the 7300 and I think a very nice one. Well that's it for this installment. I hope you found some useful tidbits in there. As always, please feel free to leave comments with corrections or suggestions or anything else that comes to mind. And if you would like to follow our march through the entire manual, please consider subscribing. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and thanks for watching Ham Cured Smoke.